Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 76. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different uh, with this video, where I'm just going to go through the build I have currently with uh, Fallout 76. So the what weapons I use, what perks I use, that type of thing. My kind of day-to-day -day, uh, go around and play. So um, this might not be totally the meta kind of build, but it's what I find fun. And I think that if you're gonna play, especially an MMO for a long time, you're going to want to have something that is fun to uh, play through. Um, there are certainly builds out there which will do more damage per second. And where the heck did my roof go? <laughs> I think someone might have blown it up. Anyway, next episode, we will be doing uh, the build. Um, so I'm gonna gut this place and rebuild it now that we've got shelters and things like that. So you can look forward to that, which is why I'm not gonna bother repairing my roof at the minute, um, wherever the hell that went. Um, so let's get back to the build. So. Um, I guess we go to perks first, right? And we can have a look at what we've got there. So in strength at the minute, I've got 15. In perception, 7. Endurance, 3. Charisma, 6. Intelligence, 11. Agility, 11. Luck, 6. So I think I'm level 100 and... What level am I? 115? 119. Wow, okay, I'm higher than I thought. So 119 at the minute. So obviously I, I've got to the point whereby you got the max amount in each of your special uh, criteria here and I've pretty much got most of the perk cards that I want as well um, so I'll go through kind of what I do let's start off with strength so my build is either a kind of a two-handed weapon or a heavy gun that's its primary primary damage source now the reason why I have the two different options there is because they're quite easy to switch out. So at the minute I have Master Slugger, Expert Slugger and Slugger. Um, important thing to kind of note with these cards is always get the individual cards rather than leveling up a card because they will give you 10% damage straight up. Um, oh God. Um, then they will only give you 5% for each next level. So... In other words, if you leveled this up, it gives you 20%, whereas if you put three cards in, which use the same amount of slots, you'll get 30% extra damage. So just something to kind of watch out for there. Um, traveling pharmacy, weight of all chems are reduced by 60%. Uh, honestly, I could do without this if I really desperately needed to. Um, I do use chems quite a lot in the build, and it can be frustrating on your, um, your weight levels, but in reality, I'm probably going to ditch this once I get the extra uh, like stash space, which is coming very soon, apparently. Um, because at the minute I have like 120 stim packs, which won't fit in my stash. I, I rarely ever use more than about 10 on a, any one day. So, you know, I could probably get rid of this and put something else in. But for the minute, it stays. So you've got Slugger, uh, Master Slugger, Expert Slugger. So that's 10, 20... 40% um, extra damage on, on melee weapons. Now I can switch that out for uh, the um, expert heavy gunner, heavy gunner, master heavy gunner. There we go. And then you start using your heavy weapon, basically. Uh, I have martial artist in there as well for the swing speed and sizer for the melee and unarmed. Um, if I really wanted to maximize it, I'd probably take out that and put in the full charge perhaps, or Ordnance Express or something like that. It doesn't, as I said, it's not like fully maximized. Basically what this allows me to do is quite quickly change from melee to um, my uh, heavy guns you know, with the and, and keep the damage without having to really muck around with all my perks eventually they are going to bring apparently perk layouts where you can save one and save another and then i'll really look at what i want for each one but sometimes you are in a mission you're like actually i need to switch to melee quickly or whatever do that i can i can come in and, and just switch that out relatively quickly perception is the one where um it's really Times like this you wonder it's the fun one in a way uh, i say that because i'm like glow sight is definitely 
definitely useful. 60% on glowing enemies, they can be a real pain and that extra damage is really, really useful. Um, when you get to the high levels, you encounter a lot of glowing enemies, especially ghouls. Um, and uh, it can be quite frustrating or even a lot of the really big animals out there, Yaoguais, etc. Um, are usually glowing when you come across them at high levels so the extra damage is really useful um, the reality is the next the other four perks are not needed um, at all um, you might be like well hang on a minute put more in your strength or whatever well, unfortunately you can only get to 15 <laughs> so you know what are you going to do now obviously probably once I get up a few more levels for that i'll start leveling up my slugger cards and my heavy gunner for that extra five percent damage here and there which will add up but the reality is this does kill things very quickly with the guns i have as well so it's it's fine for what it does now at the minute i've been playing around with some rifles so i've put in some rifle stuff and tank killer in there but i also sometimes like to play around with the bow and, and go there they're, they're not good <laughs> like they're not gonna they're not my primary damage, but if you are just going around, you want to have a little bit of fun sneaking around and uh, killing off, you know, Scorched or whatever, um, with a one-hit stealth kill or something like that, then it, it's fun to do. As I said, you can min-max it and, and, and play it, but if you're going to be playing, like, you know, 100 plus hours in Fallout 76, uh, you better really like the build you've got, because... You know, if, if you're, I like to change up the weapons, have fun with them, do different things. I obviously, for my, when I'm going into a real heavy situation, I use my heavy guns and my two handed weapon, um, and that'll do the business. But if you do that all the time, I think it just gets a little bit boring, you know. So that's in there basically. Um, my endurance is really left over from, so recently they changed it so that you don't no longer get negative effects from not eating or drinking, but you don't get like good effects from it i find endurance to be the least uh useful of all the perks out there like there's not a huge amount in here um you could go cannibal if you want for fun i guess explosions and flame attacks could be useful but it's not really to be honest with you radiation generates lost health okay um yeah but i put in cola nut because nuka cola then acts like a really strong uh, stim pack and good doggy because then all you have to do is eat one can of dog food like every hour and you're fine and dog food's pretty easy to find I've probably got 50 on me right now I've probably got 50 nuka cola as well so uh, in three in endurance I'm fine with it you, you could put them elsewhere but eh, you know um, charisma I have six so tenderizer make your target receive seven percent more damage for seven seconds after you attack I could get the next level of that, maybe take something from somewhere else and put it in to really kind of maximize that. But, um, you know, 10%, it's an extra 3% damage um, and, and an extra three seconds could be useful. Um, but Lone Wanderer, because uh, I do most of my stuff on my own, so I have that. Um, so 20% less damage and 30% AP regen is, is pretty useful. Um, if I go to a shop, I use Hard Bargain Level 3. If I am doing a daily op in a team or something, then I'll just choose one of these and you know, a few of these and put them in. Usually the inspirational is pretty good, obviously you're getting 10% more XP if you're on a team. Um you know, that's that's kind of as it is, I think that's fine though, really. Um intelligence. So because I use power armor, uh and I use a laser gatling as my main weapon. This is a very useful perk. So not only will this obviously mean you get a lot more use out of your fusion cores, um, but it also means that you get a lot more uh, ammo. Uh, not just over time, but straight up as in, instead I think of, uh, yeah, so instead of 500 um, like ammo from one fusion core, you get a thousand ammo from one fusion core. Uh, so you're having to reload a lot less which if you use heavy weapons you know the reload is the killer sometimes because if you have a load of ghouls coming towards you, you might be controlling them with your fire but when you have to reload it's slow and you then take some hits so that is a really really good perk to get if you're using a, a gatling uh, weapon a laser gatling it's very very good um 
gunsmith because heavy guns break very very quickly um if you don't use this you'll go out you'll do a mission you'll come back and your gun's broken basically uh obviously also crafting the mods and things like that is useful um but really it's to slow down the uh, uh the breaking of the guns and stabilize zone power armor heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45 percent of armor obviously that's really good um you know so i always have that if i'm if i'm going out with my heavy guns and stuff like that if i was really just going out and um uh being like okay i'm definitely not going to use heavy guns now you know i'm just going to go out melee or whatever then i might put in i might put in like a first aid but it's not really necessary or i'd probably put in scrapper um i sometimes put that in instead of something if i'm going to uh go out because you obviously get more stuff when you break down weapons and armor um although often you can just come back home put that it's in break it down then go back out it's 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 fine like that you know um agility 10 i used to have a lot higher agility um and i actually moved some of it across into perception because i found i wasn't using it i just had perks on here which i just weren't using um i did have as a kind of a uh, for a while I was running instead of running a bow or a, a, a rifle as my kind of what I would call my fun weapon so a weapon which doesn't isn't maximized to kill as quickly as possible but is kind of fun to use like I really like using the bow I think it's a fun weapon to use um, but if I wanted to use uh, I, I did used to use pistol as my kind of thing and so i had quite a lot here i had all the pistol kind of perks and things like that you see the gunslinger perks and things like that i had in there but then i got bored of pistol so i stopped using it um but i have sneak in even though i really use sneak to be honest with you uh action boy i do find useful so that might be something i level up um i'll go through why in a minute but um adrenaline uh is something i actually think i will uh level up because i do find now that um especially in like the daily ops and stuff like that you are killing things a lot more quickly i did i used to find maybe before the wastelanders thing you used to come more across just like less numbers of enemies and i think they've really upped the difficulty which is good in the game of just chucking more things at you because they realize that especially high level players are so much more powerful now than they've ever been so they need to chuck more at you so I think adrenaline is a lot more useful than it, than I used to find it. Um, I often walk around without power armor because it's power armor. Well, A, it uses fusion cores, and B, um, I, I just like the movement better when you're, you're not in power armor. And C, carry weight is a thing. So I'll go through that in a minute. But um, yeah, so I have evasive on just in case I do need to engage and covert ops. I'm using that because I'm using the rifle and stuff like that for sneak attacks or, or the the bow as well obviously it, it works for the bow uh and then luck we have bloody mess it just gives you 15 percent more damage and it's more fun because enemies explode into a gory red paste um it's a really good perk to get i think in luck starch genes so we have uh um when i met someone I've been taking serums to, to artificially mutate myself, which we'll go through. This means that I can use Radaway and it won't get rid of those mutations, which is really good. So that's that's a, a no-brainer, I think, there. And then Scrounger, I switch that out sometimes for can-do or luck of the draw, whatever you want, really. Um, at the minute, I'm, I'm kind of looking for ammo, so we'll, we'll kind of go through that on there. So they're the kind of main perks. As I said, there's lots of different things i could do still some things which i i quite want to play around with the level up in to do a bit more damage but i don't have much of a problem killing anything to be completely honest with you um legendary perks so i've only got three because you get this at 150 so i've still got 31 levels to go till i get that fourth one um we've got mass infiltrator i just find this so useful like as a quality of life card not having to have Okay, not necessarily having to have the pick lock ones in, but um, not having to swap them out every time I come across a, uh, you know, not having to switch them in and out every time I come across a, a, a lock I can't unlock. So I find that just so useful. It basically gives you free plus three lock picking hacking skills. It's so useful. And it auto unlocks. When you level up, it'll auto unlock higher, higher. I don't really need that. I find it quite easy to auto unlock things. 
I quite like doing the hacking, funnily enough. Um, so I, I don't worry too much about that. Perception, um, we got that. So I, I've got the extra ranks in perception because I've played around with that. Might be something I decide to, to not use later on. We'll see. Um, there's no point doing it with strength because you still have the um, cap of 15. Um, even if I wanted to get more strength, um, I think luck might be something I do try to get a bit more things in because they can be quite useful but it's also more to do with vats i don't use vats uh at all so it's not useful so perception at the minute is the one which i'm kind of playing around with um again i might move something into charisma and try and get that next level of tenderizer just it's just an extra three percent more damage isn't it um it's just useful damage is is useful um and then I have the ammo factory one. So 50% more rounds with crafting ammunition. This also works in conjunction with the ammo smith card here. So that's 80% more rounds. So you go from producing like, I don't know, what well, you, you produce a lot more ammo. And a lot of the end game of Fallout 76 is about ammo <laughs> because ammo can be really expensive and you can use a lot of it. Um, you know, if you look in my uh, stash here, we can see that I have loads of ammo I don't use. Um, the 0.38 ammo here, luckily it doesn't weigh anything, so <laughs> it doesn't matter, but like no good guns use that, unfortunately. So it's just stuck there. I could chuck it away, but I kind of just hold it because it, it doesn't do anything. I could sit there all day and go into the, uh, the ammo converter, which I actually used to have here, but I got frustrated with it because it's so crap. Um, so there is a machine which allows you to convert one ammo into points. You then use those points to make other ammo. I uh, don't really like it, to be completely honest with you. Uh, it's very slow interface and cumbersome. Um, but yeah, so uh, the if I go through now kind of what weapons I use, I think that's probably um, going to help me explain the rest of my build. So... My, I have three main heavy weapons I use. Uh, one is this bloodied focused Gatling laser. So plus 50% limb damage, 50% damage resistance while aiming and damage increases as health decreases. Now, I did for a while have a bloodied build. So you do that by um, equipping things like uh, Nerd Rage. Um, so you get the extra damage resistance. You do extra damage as well. So you get 15% on top of what your weapon is getting extra. And then I'll go through my power armor in a minute, but that also has stuff in there which helps with when your health is low. And what you do is you artificially irradiate yourself so that your health cannot go above a certain level. And then you're always doing that bonus damage. The issue I, I have with that build is that it's just not that fun because you're constantly having to worry about your health uh, on there. And I just, I just didn't find it very fun to play it's very good you will do a lot of damage and you will kill things quickly but you also have it's that kind of thing where i'm like i'd rather just kind of wander around and uh have fun and do a bit less damage if that makes sense but i still use it because uh it's still a good weapon um so yeah i got that recently actually to store that I just picked that up before. I've been using this lever action as my kind of fun weapon. It's not great. Um, it does a job, but uh, I haven't got that many mods for it either, weirdly. So I'm missing a few mods for it, but that's my kind of fun weapon at the minute. I also use my bow. Uh, I have a glow sighted bow as well, which I use as a fun weapon. As I said, I, I just have a fun weapon for, yeah, you know, you're going around and you might just be going around on a little scrap run or something like that. And you just want to pick up, you just want to pick off the targets here and there. And you know you're not going to get swarmed by millions of, of ghouls and have to fight them off or anything like that. Or that many. If I come across something at high level, I just switch out to, you know, something else. Um, the Flaming Chainsaw is a really, really good melee weapon. Um, it does a huge amount of damage. You might be going, well, no, it doesn't. Look, it does 2 and 12 flaming damage. Um... Firstly, it's a really fun weapon to use. Oh, hell, sorry. I didn't realise I was in that. Uh, uh, where is it? 
heightened. So firstly, yeah, it's a fun weapon to use. Like, who doesn't want a chainsaw or anything? Um, and secondly, because it's very fast, it's like it ticks so quickly over that damage when you hit something. It just cuts through things, especially if they don't have a lot of armor. Gauls, for example, it will just really slice through very, very nicely. Um, so I take that around because, again, it's a fun weapon to use. Um, <coughs> it, it does weigh 10, which is a bit of a pain. Um, and you have to get the flaming mod for it. So uh, this has the dual bar and the flamer mod. You can, I can't remember where you find them, but you can buy them in uh, like people's camps. They're usually not very expensive. And you, you just find one of these. The chainsaw only goes up to level 20, so you can't find a higher level one, but it's a lot of fun. And actually, if you are level 20, you get these mods for it. This will see you through for a long time as a kind of backup melee weapon. It's really good fun to use as well. My main weapon that I use is this Furious Tactical Gatling Laser. Um, firstly, I love Gatling Lasers. I just think they're super cool. Um, 250 damage resistance while reloading. So, as I said, reloading is a pain with heavy weapons. You don't have to worry about that. Damage increases after each consecutive hit on the same target. So that's really good because you are firing very, very quickly with this. And your VATS critical shots do plus 50% damage. I don't use VATS, so that's useless. Um, you can see the condition of it is very low right now. I really need to uh, um, repair it, actually. Um, but it's a really fun weapon to use. Um, I have a true Gatling laser receiver, true long barrel reflex sight, no muzzle. Um, that's what I use. And that will cut through anything, really. Um, yeah, it's good. In terms of melee weapons, I have two really that I've been using. So Heavy All Rise, uh, it's quite light, has the Heavy Rocket mod on it. Um, you see it does 203 damage at the minute, but that will go up to close to 250 if I have the right perks in there, um, which is enough to basically a level 75 enemy. Two hits will do it, two normal hits. Uh, sometimes you can get away with one power hit, uh, kind of depends. Um, but yeah, you get this weapon, I think, for doing the, the normal storyline, I think. Uh, so I got it very early on. Um, no, not very early on. I kind of say very early on because I've obviously been playing this game for a while, but I got it kind of like when I completed the main story. So maybe I was like level, I was probably level 50 because it is a level 50 weapon. But, but you, you earn it through that way. So I didn't have to... Um, you know, get it any other way i've had it forever and then the Oathbreaker, which you get with the brotherhood uh, question line as well um i've been using so the you take 40 percent less damage while power attacking and you do 40 percent more damage while um, power attacking so that's really good reduce your target's output by 20 percent for three seconds it's useful but honestly it's, it's not it's not that important um i've put a cryo blade on it you can choose out of a cryo blade a plasma blade um or a flame blade i think that's oh, an electrified blade as well um the cryo blade slows down enemies basically and as this is, has a slow speed it's, it's quite useful uh, it's a nice looking weapon as well um i think it's it's quite fun to use you have to get the mods for it by using gold bullion to buy them so yeah it's a bit of a pain but that's you know the way of things at the minute i don't really have many weapons that freeze i mostly have weapons that burn so it's quite good to have something a bit different um and again this doesn't do as much damage as from a normal hit as the heavy rise um you can see it does just under 200 currently um or 180 it does compared to 203 um but that 40 percent more power attack damage is really good <laughs> you can one hit things quite easily with it uh, and then I have my beloved minigun, which I love a lot. Um, I called it Too Fast, Too Furious. Um, it shoots an additional projectile, so it does more damage straight straight away. Um, don't care about the VATs. And a 25% faster fire rate. It just tears through things. It, it really does tear through things. Um, it's fun to use as well. Miniguns are just fun. Uh, I like it. I put this skin on it as well, which I got eight years ago. I think I got this. Lucille's Lullaby, that's it, yeah. It's kind of cool though, I like it. Um, the issue I have with 
uh, my heavy guns is always ammo. So at the minute I have a fair amount of ammo, you can see 5,000 for this, but it goes so quick, like it goes so quickly. Um, plasma cores at the minute, I think I have quite a few, but uh, you know, that's why I have three to rotate because what I aim to do is while I'm using one, I build up the ammo on the others and then, you know, you kind of take it from there. And even though I've got 23 fusion cores at the minute uh, on me, they're not all full. <laughs> I've got four which are full, seven at 50%. Space, right? It annoys me that you can't get something which Just like refuels them, why? but there you go. Um, and then I have my new latest fun weapon, which is I brought this off a player who was selling this for like a thousand caps. And I was like, I don't usually buy weapons because you get enough that you're like, well, I don't need any more, you know. And I usually go to the purveyor to get weapons. Um, trade them in, get weapons, etc., etc. But I saw this while looking for plans and things. And I was just like, that just seems like a lot of fun. It shoots an additional projectile. That's critical shots do fifty percent damage. Yeah, it turns out this thing is a bit of a beast. <laughs> and, uh, don't get me wrong, it's bloody heavy, but it's so much fun to use a fat man. Um, so I've got the experimental mi. RV launcher on what that does is that shoots three um, out of your one ammo instead of one but they do less damage so one ammo straight up on this does or if I didn't have that on this does 2,000 damage straight out of the bat that's without the VATS critical shots doing 50% damage um, just does 2,000 damage so that's enough to kill a lot of things um, and if you have a big group of things that will kill a lot of things as well um, I do want to get the uh, perk. I think it's in endurance. No, it might not be endurance. It might be endurance actually. Um, where you um, the explosive? I, I want to see. I don't know if it does work, but the explosive radiance of things increases. Um, the MIRV. So the damage you can see is only eight hundred twenty-seven, but that's but you shoot three of them. So it's actually about 2,400 before the VATS critical shots. So, and it spreads on a slightly wider area. So if you have a lot of gauls or something like that, it's, it just rips them apart. Again, like it's a fun weapon. It's not meant to be like uh, anything else other than just having fun. And like the ammo, it weighs nearly 20. The ammo weighs six each. So you know, you're quite over encumbered usually uh, when you, you do that, when you do it. So at the minute I've been using the, uh, been using Oathbreaker, too fast, too furious, I've had that in, and then I've just been using the, the lever action as, as just something fun. Um, if, I, if I wanted to save some weight on things, I would use the bow because it's a lot lighter and you don't have to have the, the I think the ammo is lighter as well. I might put the chainsaw in there as well, just to, to oh, I can't. Um, I'm too. I got too. Can't wait for more stash space. I really can't. Um, and then, oh, I need to drop these actually. Yeah, that will help. Um, put them in there as well. I don't need those. Those. I can't put them in there. Okay. Need to go and break down some things. Um, yeah. Um, if we have a look now, I guess at armor. I don't know what's the best way to look at this actually, I guess from here. So I don't look too much at the, the my normal armor because I am usually, if I'm going into major combat, I'm going into, uh, I'm going in power armor. But it's good to have decent armor when you're kind of wandering around. So my um, damage resistance is uh, 318 with 257 energy and 21 radiation damage. So not, you know, it's nowhere near like what some people can obviously get, nowhere near what power armor will give you. Um, let's have a look back in here. Uh, so I use the Brotherhood Fatigues as my Under Armour. Uh, gives you an extra 10 damage resistance. But the main thing is it gives you plus two strength, plus two endurance. Now, if you're using melee build, obviously the strength is great. Obviously, that kind of negates the power armor uh, strength that you do get. Endurance is nice as well, obviously. gives you a bit more health. Um, 
And these are ones I've just picked up really across the board. So there's nothing totally special uh, about any of these really. Intelligence, junk items way less, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I love my doe pit boy skin. It's like my favourite thing ever. Um, and I use the Nuka Cola Grocer Backpack. Now this reduces the weight of all food and drink by 90%. You get this mod from the guys at Foundation. I think I got it from um, using Bullion. I think I can't remember what I was using, but so I use something on them. And um, yeah, so. It gives you 60 extra carry weight just for the backpack and then reduces the weight of all food drink by 90%, which is obviously really useful uh, because I have like 100 water on me, 50 cans of dog food, like uh, 50 Nuka Cola, I had ridiculous amounts because I can't stash them. So I just carry them around with me, um, but they weigh virtually nothing. Uh, Mutant Slayer's Assault Deep Pocketed Marine Armor. Again, bit of agility, bit of weight reduction, uh, extra charisma, less limb damage, 10% damage resistance, energy resistance if you're mutated. I'll go through my mutations in a minute. Extra strength, and then higher health, dam energy and damage resistance, and extra strength there. So yeah, kind of fairly standard, kind of legendary armor. So uh i have five perks at the minute first one's carnivore eat meat but not veggies with no disease two times the benefit so i eat dog food all the time um i believe that counts towards it um so yeah i have the dog food and then how much water have i got me 96 Perfect. there you go um we've got uh so yeah, fully fed gives me plus one strength, max HP of 35, disease resistance, which is nice. I've got Plague Walker, so poison aura scaling with your diseases. I always seem to have some disease, so I just had that one. There's no downside to it, really. Uh, scaly skin, um, energy resistance plus 50, damage resistance plus 50, AP minus 50. So I don't use that, so I figured that was just good. Um, extra energy and damage resistance is pretty good. Speed Demon, move speed plus 20 and reload speeds faster. And then your Hunger and Thirst gain 50% while moving. I don't have a problem with food. And now that there's no actual downside to not having being fed or hydrated, you just don't get the perks from it when you, you are fully fed and hydrated. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. And then Unstabilize to take chance to irradiate melee attack. So basically a small explosion goes off on, the, on some occasions when I... Um, do get hit in melee, which mostly hurts other people. So I figured it was extra damage. It does hurt you as well, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, but we've got a holiday gift. Hang on. I forgot about that. Where did it go? Small holiday gift. A chessboard and Radaway. Wow, excellent. Um, I just can't shake these yeah, the only other one which I'm thinking of taking, I currently have on me the uh, Marsupial Serum. Your carry capacity and jump height are increased, your intelligence is reduced. Now, I I, I don't know if it just reduces it as a... And I just need to look it up because my intelligence is 12 currently because I have things which boost it. But I'm worried it will reduce it on the perks. I won't be able to put all my perks in it. See, my strength is 20. With, that, with all the extra kind of perks and things like that. So that's why my melee damage is quite good. Um, and then we'll look up the power armor and I'll show you the power armor I generally use. Uh, so I use T60. I don't have the T65. I don't like the T65. A T60 is pretty much the most damage resistant one you can get. Other than that, um, I don't have any mods on my arms because the only mods I can put on uh, are the... Oh, I actually don't even have any mods for them. But the only ones I've seen are the ones that the rusty knuckles, the unarmed ones. And I just figured that there's no point doing that. Uh, right leg, we have calibrated shocks, which give you carry weight. So I get an extra 50 carry weight. Kinetic servos, action point refresh. Uh, and then emergency protocols. This is the one I might change, so... I was using emergency protocols with, when I had my bloody build because below 20% health, speed increases by 25% and incoming damage is reduced by 50, which is pretty useful. But I don't really use that in a minute. So I might just increase the strength because that will obviously be pretty useful with the melee build um, on there. 
I don't want a jetpack, to be completely honest with you. Um, I know that they're kind of good. I might get one set of armor with a jetpack just to muck around in, but that's kind of it. And then the only thing I found I actually had a mod for here was vats. <laughs> I don't use vats, but I just put it in anyway. Um, so yeah, so if I get my power armor. The problem I have when I get my power armor is that all of the perks of your armor and your backpack no longer apply. So I am... Um, now. So my actual carry weight is 515 and I can only carry 280. So whenever I use power armor, I am always over encumbered. Um, I'm going to work on that when the stash limit increases so that I'm not because it is really annoying, especially with a melee build that you can't do power attacks that often or you have to kind of stand there in the same place. Um, it's not ideal. Uh, as I said, it's the food and drink mostly, uh, but I don't have space for it. I don't necessarily want to sell it. So I'm just stuck in this limbo where I carry it around with me. And normally it's fine when I'm out of the power armor, so I can fast travel and do all that type of stuff out of power armor. But that means I have to get back into my power armor once I've fast traveled. So it's not um, it's not ideal. Uh, you should see my strength goes down <laughs> because I don't have the uh, as many perks. So that's why I might get that uh, that other perk. But my um, you can see my damage, my energy, my radiation resistance are like doubled, or if not, like. 10 times as much on the radiation obviously so i'm very hard to kill um but uh it's uh slightly less damage um if we look at the weapons uh or less carry capacity and stuff like that as well obviously um so yeah it um Which, what perk did I end up with the... Oh yeah, the Gunners ones um, on there. Uh, see, I can I could put things in which would reduce my carry weight, but I feel like it's a waste sometimes. Um, unless, like, you could do a build where you're just going around and um, uh, scrapping, and then you, you do that, and sometimes I'll do that. So I do need to go on a scrap run for aluminium, actually. Uh, and other bits because um, my next video is going to be about changing my base i really like my base but uh it's come to a time where i'm going to change it up um oh there's usually a couple of ghouls here actually but there isn't i think i killed them earlier i was using the lever arch to see the really nice thing about living here i'll go through this more in the um the, the next one i do but the really nice thing about living here is that um so where I live, actually, just to let you know, is, is here. So we're kind of close to White Run. You have a station nearby if you want to sell some stuff to a, a, a bot. You're kind of in the middle of Vault 76 and other places which are free to travel to, um, such as Atlas. Uh, so you kind of cover this area here for cheaper, fast travel. Uh, I think it's a nice view. And um, I have my own kind of shooting range because there's always two, um, like, of the charred uh, feral ghouls, high level ones who spawn here. And if I want to test out um, guns or anything like that on them, I can just go there. And if I then I'm like, mm, okay, that seemed to do well, I then wander over to the uh, the golf club in uh, White Spring, which there's a ton of ghouls over there, and I just test out um, my weapons there and stuff like that. So it's kind of like my own shooting range, if you like, on there. But um, I'm at my um, peak uh, building. Uh, like amount and there's other things i want to do still so um yeah i want to uh oh i don't have any razor grain apparently to repair the razor grain there we go that's better that should have uh yeah I put my roof back and my slocum joe sign um which somebody nastily decided to destroy i guess and uh I've got my vended bots here as well, which I sell. I always try to sell things for a really cheap price. Um, a lot, like I sell it for like ten percent less than it's worth, if not more sometimes. Um, because I hate it when I go to vending machines and someone just really puts the price up really high. I just think it's like, don't get me wrong, I understand you want to make some money, but sometimes people just. Oh, especially on plans like if you've got a plan which you don't know there's no benefit to you to hold on to that plan sell it it, it might be you might be like well it's worth 1500 so i'm going to sell it for 2000 because it's rare or whatever but like the reality is that like 
you're kind of scamming other players in a way which doesn't sit quite right with me in a video game like if you're in real life like it's your business you do what you want but in a video game i think i'm a bit like it just doesn't quite feel right just to sell it at a knockdown price give someone a bargain and hopefully they'll do the same for you it's not like you've got to pay for your mortgage or anything is it so you know <laughs> um but yeah that's my kind of build i use in fallout 76 it's fun as i said i've got to level 120 nearly using it and i still have fun going around shredding things up with my mini gun and stuff um my laser gatling and my plasma you know it, it's just fun um still work to do on it though i'd, pro I'd probably need another 50 levels to really get it something tight and i need more stash space as well so bethesda if you could you know, hook us up with that quickly be quite useful but yeah as i said the next video i'm going to do is going to be a building one so we'll look forward to that see you soon Bye bye